this evening as we join the younger members of the Royal Family at Alton Towers in Staffordshire for the Grand Knockout Tournament. Noble spectator, lay aside all worries, cast aside all cares and travel with us back, back through time to a magical era when England's isle was green and pleasant and when every glade echoed to the sound of the chart-topping favourite, hey nonny nonny no, and when every heroic knight for the love of his damsel and glory of his king fought in mighty tournament. <laughs> will now open the games. Ladies and gentlemen, and lowly ranks of rather grubby but enthusiastic rubble. <laughs> Myself and the fair Lady Knock bid you a warm welcome to the Grand Knockout Tournament. On this day, by noble decree, we call forth the mighty from this and many lands to compete in games whose grandeur, glory, and overwhelming silliness will be forever remembered. For the entertainment of us all, let you fall repeatedly on your bottoms this day. <laughs> and so that your achievement should not go unnoticed in the hurly and the burly, let me introduce three roistering knaves and one rollicking maiden to help you on your way. Firstly, the squire of cheerful countenance, Master Les Dawson, assisted by the maid of the genteel voice and dignified demeanor, Mistress Sue Pollard. Together, together with the wizard supreme, Master Paul Daniels, and last but by no means quietest, jolly jester and legendary chronicler of the tournaments of Knock, Master Stuart Hall. <laughs> But first and foremost, I would like you to bid welcome to the four teams led by four members of our gracious royal family. His Royal Highness, the Grand Young Duke of York, marching his troops to the top of the hill and wherever else he can in aid of the World Wildlife Fund. The fair Duchess of York, leading forth her heroes on behalf of the International Year of Shelter for the Homeless. Rubble, rubble. 
His Royal Highness, His Royal Highness, the tantalizingly eligible Prince Edward. Coaxing courage. On behalf of the Duke of Edinburgh's Award Scheme International Project 1987. And Her Royal Highness, the Fair Princess Royal. Spurring on her champions for the Save the Children Cup. You have now distributed your favours. I shall then ask the team captains, first of all, is Royal Highness the Duke of York. Yes. Your motley crew, sir. Can you describe them in a few words? We are excellent. Fighting fit, raring to go, and we have the most amazing mascot, which nobody else has got, called a panda, to support us on our way. And, of course, Nigel Mansell, Annika Rice, and they call themselves this morning the animals. Does it still hold true? Absolutely. The pandas, the pandas. The pandas, not the animals, the pandas. Well, you know. Thank you, thank you sir. And good luck. And... And now... No. Our Royal Highness, the Duchess of York, Mum, how is the state of your health? Because it was inclement this morning, I'm afraid. It's uh, very good, thank you very much. But everyone else is going to suffer after we win. Will the throat hold out? Oh, of course it will hold out. Now, what are the ace cards that you're holding, Mum? Well, we don't, we don't have any cards because basically we're the best. We're the best blue bandits there are. <laughs> OK? Hey, hey, hey. Give me an L. 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 Give me a U. U. Give me an E. E. What do you got? Big Bad Blue Bandit! <laughs> Meet Loaf and Pam Stevenson. And now... And now... The undoubted favourites to win uh, the tournament, His Royal Highness, the Prince Edward, sir. Oh, favourites, are we? Ah, well, that's because we've got a pretty good team. Yeah. They're all... Yeah. And they're all fit. Yeah. The, Tudor, the Tudor book is heavy with uh, at six to four against. Well, that sounds pretty good odds. That sounds pretty good. But I mean, it looks a very, very strong team, laden with, I see, Olympic athletes like Steve Cram, Cesar Sanderson, Sarah Hardcastle. Oh. How do you account for this apparent ringing of your team? No, not at all. Not, no ringing at all. No, no, it was just the way the cookie crumbled. <laughs> <laughs> we shall now move on then. Good luck! What are we going for? Go, go, go! go, go. go. Yeah. Such ferocity have they shown the three royals. I approach a royal highness, the Princess Royal, with some trepidation, ma'am. Your, where are your tactics? Oh, very cool, calm, collected. <laughs> All this. Quasi excitement doesn't really matter a damn to you then. No, we're the strong silent types. <laughs> the strong silent types. Is, is that going to describe your tactics? Strong and silent on the games, or will it will it be excitement like Lucy eventually? No, not until later when we've won. <laughs> and this is how she approaches her games all the time, constant in the thought of winning. Could you possibly describe one or two of your team, like Emlyn Hughes? He's hardly laid back. No, this is a team effort. Um, I describe them as the Red Perils. <laughs> the Red Perils. Have you a war cry for us, Mum? No, no. I told you we're the strong silent type. <laughs> <laughs> the strong silent type. Silent. Thank you. Silent. 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 S. Silent. S. So you can that one so, right. Yes, I will. S for silent. Thank you. Good luck to you. Good luck. And thank you very much. A round of applause for the four teams. Come on. And now, your Royal Highness and the teams fly to the tribunes. You are dismissed to the tribunes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to welcome Master Alid Jones, the herald of the tournament. If you please, Alid Jones, round of applause. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, the first game in the Grand Knockout Tournament is Call Out the Guards. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, how is this for the gauntlet thrown down in this royal tournament? The Duchess of York is playing a joker on the first game. And... Oh. 
Quiet, everyone. Quiet. He's a very laid-back, low-key joker, Mum. Very low joker. A very low joker. We're having too many jokes from <laughs> Shall we wish them both the best of luck with a hearty round of applause, if you please? It gives me great pleasure on this day of days, which, with a bit of luck, will lead to a night of nights to open this grand tournée. The games will commence with the dropping of this favour given me by the bold Sir Lancelot, he who loves nothing more than the roar of the crowd and the smell of the liniment. <laughs> The red team on the Joker. So it's Cliff Richard attaching the rope to the cannon. Cliff Richard running back. And over the capstan, Kevin Klein, Jackie Stewart, and Emlyn Hughes. For the Princess Royal. And for the yellow team of Prince Edward, everything is color coded, of course, in this great knockout tournament. Eddie Grant, Peter Blake, Duncan Butu. And the blue team, the Duchess of York, Brian Cooper, Steve Cawthon, champion dog Viv Richards, leaping over the capstan athletically. And finally, on the green team, for the Duke of York, George Lazenby, Gary Lineker, the greatest footballer in the world, Michael Palin. The Reds on the Joker, if they win, of course, as you know, knockout buffs, the points automatically double, and they're winning. The Reds are winning. The back wheels of the cannon over the line. When the front wheels are over, the Royal Highness, the Princess Anne, fires the cannon. Fires the cannon. We're waiting for Prince Edward to fire his cannon. One more pull, sir. One more pull and over. And it's... And the Princeton. They celebrate. <laughs> Gary Lineker's got his skirt tight. Oh, and he's showing his drawers. Gary Lineker. Annika. Oh, this is a case. A case for treasure. A case. Well, this is what <laughs> Well now, my next job is to introduce the judges. And who better to judge this royal knockout tournament but the four dukes of uh, the realm? First of all, I want to welcome the Duke of Westminster, if you please. Gerald, I think, is slightly nutty like the rest of us, would you say? Yes, I am. Yeah, I've got to be here on a sort of rather cloudy day. Um, but uh, I must say, that first game didn't quite go as per rehearsal, did we it? Shall find, we shall find <laughs> out. Secondly, welcome, please, to the Duke of Gloucester. Yeah. Good afternoon. Are you looking forward to events, sir? Yes, indeed. Are you going to be a strict disciplinarian? Oh, I intend to be, yes. There's a potential for a lot of cheating here. <laughs> did you hear that? Potential for cheating. We've already seen it. Michael Brandon's already made one protest. Now, welcome, please, uh, the Duke of Roxburgh, Guy. Let's do it. And your attitude to our games, Guy? We're delighted the red team won once at the first game, so things are going well. You're supposed to be unbiased. But I am. He is unbiased, but he I wants promise. to win. And finally, welcome, please, the Duke of Abercorn. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Are you, are you going to look forward to this? Very much indeed, but I'm already sulking because my team, I'm judging, has come second. Come second. So you've got four biased team judges. But now... <laughs> We had a problem with the scoreboard. We had to have somebody big and strong and masterful to manipulate round this tournament area. So we chose twice the world's strongest man, three times the strongest man in Europe. Welcome, please, Geoffrey Capes. 
And our chief judge, our chief judge, I'd say, can you adjudicate on our first game if you please, sir? Yes, can Mr. we just Paul point Daniels. out to all of you at home, I'm uh, Paul Daniels, this is Jeff Gibbs, because we look a lot alike. <laughs> now then. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. <laughs> oh, no, then. Right. And now, as we can see here, two teams played the Jokers, the red and the blue team, all right? And the slowest team was the yellow one, all right? Prince Edward slowest with a time of 141. And they only get one point for that, one shield for that. And, of course, this was, uh, yes, this is the next team, 128. Very close. It was very close, this, because... Yeah, it was the Duke of York, 128. Uh, somebody popped... Duchess of York, 127. Somebody popped their gun, you know, without crossing the line. We watched that. Oh, dear. Anyway, yes, 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 yes. So, anyway, they get two points for that. Now, these played the Jokers, so although they were second, they doubled up, they get six points. Now, but the winners are on this game uh, with the joker in that doubles up to eight points it's the red save the children farm team Ron Harris the British Royal takes the lead and I think and there they are on the master scoreboard and now I think that Lord Letchelot Dawson and Mistress Pollard have something in store. And now a musical prelude to introduce the Asda Marathon. Your company. <laughs> what a wondrous team we have. First of all, the winsome Toy Wilcox. What think of this pedal? Well, we've been training in shark-infested waters, so we're pretty calm about this. Yes, yeah, so you work for London Weekend, over there. And next we have Barry McGuigan, a man of pugilist. <laughs> this is quite a different kettle of fish for you, Barry. What think of thou chances, my boy? Uh, well, I was going to get over the other side with Tom throwing the ham at me. Uh, he hit me twice this morning in practice, so I'm just waiting to get over here. And if, if I don't get over, I'm going to get him and, and drown. Well, you could call it an ambush. <laughs> Sorry about that, brother. Christopher Reeve. <laughs> a man who flies in most of his film, but this time he's not had a drink. How do you think? <laughs> I'm, I'm in trouble here. This is not my element. <laughs> oh, he's not your element. Well, that was straight to the point. Over there, Christopher. <laughs> Last but never leave, Steve Cram. A man with the fastest... The fastest closed pegs in the world. Now, what do you think, Steve? Well, I think I'm definitely going to go in. <laughs> well, I think you're going to go in, man. Right, take your places, please. <laughs> On the groaning table is that wonderful man from the valleys who sings those wonderful songs, a man who has graced our byways as a minstrel, Tom Jones. <laughs> he looks like an overdue bank statement. And the ever-lovely Jenny Agatha. <laughs> With your permission, Lord Knock, may I commence the marathon? Three, two, one. Oh. And they're off. Here we go. Come along, Mistress. Oh, she's doing very well, Toya. Excuse very me. Very well, dear. Well done. Oh, yes, splendid. Got splendid. Yes, oh, well, well done, my Yes, well done. Oh, Come on, Barry, you can do it. Next one. You wait. The moustache could be a disadvantage. Oh. Oh. Come on, Christopher. Think of an, an Oscar for this. You can do it. Oh, he's wonderful. Ah, oh. uh, Steve. What an excellent movement. Oh, you can do it, Steve. Oh. Toya. Wonderful. Come on. Look at the agility there in those legs. Muscles are turned. Oh. Well done. This time, Barry, you can do it, Barry. Come on, Barry. Barry, come on. You're not there for comic relief. Come on, Barry. Show you can do it. Come on. You can do it. Come on, Barry. Not much longer to go. Oh, yes. And it's Christopher Eve again with a lovely leg action, ripping tightly to the pole. No wonder this man is a superman. Well done, hey! From the colonies. You'll be delighted to know, my lord, the yellow team scored four. Four points, four well done. Four points for yellow. Oh, so moment. proud we are. And this marathon, of course, was the first heat of the Asda marathon. <laughs> God-fearing noble folk, 
An eerie tale will now unfold as we meet the ghost of Alton Towers. Oh. Terror written on all these faces. Stricken, give me some horror again. <sighs> Wait till I unfold the story for you. But first of all, we have two damsels in somewhat distress. Debbie Flintoff, who was the holder of the Commonwealth Gold 400 meters record. But what is your real claim to fame, Debbie? Uh, probably the two gold medals that I won at Edinburgh. And your eight Commonwealth records? And my eight Commonwealth records, yes. And she goes like the speed of the wind, <laughs> representing the Princess Royal. But now, representing the Duke of York, Judy Simpson. Hey. And Ter oh, don't be so bashful. This is it's a knockout. <laughs> the, right the holder of the UK heptathlon record. And what else, Judy? Um, lots of different things. I've got a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games for heptathlon as well. Now then, we are playing our joker. Why, why, Prince Edward, are you playing your joker on this game? Tell me. Ah, oh, because we've got a very slick ghost. <laughs> Who is the slick ghost? Who oh, well, it? I can't tell you that. I can't tell you that. We will have a reveal later on. And the Duke of Yorkshire. We have an exceedingly fast hopper. <laughs> a fast <laughs> hopper in Judy Simpson, and you're backing, of course, on the ghost being slower. Oh, yes. Without more ado, then, there will be a puff of smoke, and the headless ghost of Alton Towers will appear. Ghosts are appearing. Screams, please. And when the ghost reached the top step, the girls are off and running. They've got to be caught to catch the flowers, first of all. One flower, two flowers. Debbie Flintoff's going to be caught. She's caught. Debbie <laughs> Flintoff's caught. For all the Commonwealth goals, Debbie's gone. And Judy Simpson's hopping along. <laughs> Judy Simpson's got to the end of the course. Give her a round of applause, please. <laughs> oh, now then, look, now then, but did you know who was in the ghost costume? No idea. You're going down to embrace Judy. Meanwhile, <laughs> let's find out if. And the headless ghost of Alton Towers, none other than the greatest cricketer in the world, Viv Richards, welcome him. But the Duke of York, the Duke of York playing a very, very handy joker indeed. Now, what was Judy Simpson's time? That's going to be par for the course. What a good joker to play. Master Paul Daniels. Well, um, as I do a tea tour around Jeff Cape's stomach, what we've got here is... He's um, not going to like that and you're going to slap on the head. I know, but uh, I, I can run very quick. Now listen, um, as you can see, we've got an 18 second finish here. And we've got someone here who didn't finish, as we sadly saw. And they have got three uh, roses, flowers collected. You've got part of the course. Oh, yes. Absolutely. And by Spookies. We're going to bring the ghosts. Three, two, one, Spookies. So for the Duchess of York, Tamara McKinney is on her way for Prince Edward. Look at Sarah Hardcastle going like a bomb, Sarah. She's never going to be caught. Neither is Tamara. Oh! Tamara McKinney, extremely fit. She's never, never, ever going to be caught. Tamara. And Sarah. <laughs> Well, who was in the ghost's costume, I asked myself? Who was pursuing Tamara? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at their debris. Ah, so it's two skiers together. Steve Podborski, come on. Well, once again, it wasn't quite right on the day for you. No, not so far, but I think our team, Team Panda, has a great chance of moving ahead soon. Let me ask the Duchess of York, were you pleased with that performance, ma'am? Were you pleased? Oh, yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> Do I have to say anything else? Is your voice coming, ma'am? No. no. All right, let's go and find out what was happening elsewhere. Where's the other ghost? Where's he gone? He's departed. He's on it. Oh. Shall we say a big R oh, as he goes? A nice big R oh for the ghost who fell. Come on. Was Judy's time beaten, I ask, Paul Daniels? Well, yes, I think it was. I mean, look at this. It's an incredible game here, because although they did an incredible 18 seconds, they were pipped at the post by a platinum-plated plutocrat. And they got in there 17 seconds, and it just fell off. Oh so what I'll do is I confirm that time. Now, as you can see now, because they played the joker and came third, they get four points, and here, sadly, never finished. Ah. Oh. 
Only get one, one, one shield on there for that. Shame about that. And of course, these were the winners with four. I mean, they, they get the full time there. 17 seconds. Great winners. Well, that was, that but was Tamara, yes. Never look. Played the Joker. Yes. They get six. They're the highest scorers in this, the World Wildlife Fund on the green. So we're going uh -huh. on. And now, the running total in the competition, it stands like this. The Duchess of York in the lead with 10 points, the Princess Royal with nine, the Duke of York with eight, and Prince Edward with five. And we've had four jokers played. And now, good people of Alton, prepare yourselves for merriment with McDonald Restaurant's Knock a Night. Thank you, Aled. Knock a Night. And how do we do it? With me on stage, the divine. Fiona Fullerton. Well, now you have a little megaphone with you. Absolutely. Can you hear me, Gary? Can we hear me, Gary? So I go down and find out who Gary is. You've already seen him this afternoon in a partial state of disrobement. But welcome again. A round of applause for Gary Lineker. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, Gary Lineker has the big black bag in front of him, and before me, he has knights to knock down, eight knights. And the only way he can do it is by obeying the lovely Fiona's instruction. But first of all, we have another joker, the second royal joker. A little applause, please, for the Duchess of York. <laughs> Exhort your companions, man. <laughs> well, OK, you've seen, you've seen the challenge. Garalitica puts on the helmet. Paul Daniels. Yeah, that's it, great. Master magician, can he see Paul? Yeah, no, he can't see a thing. He can't see a thing, right. Neither can I. Well, don't blow my head off. The last time the gun went off, it singed my eyebrows. Found it. Found oh, yes, it did. It blew them off. You got oh, a minute eyelashes. and a half. Minute and a half. Three, two, two one. one. OK, Gary, pull it right back. Pull it right back. And push it really hard. Push it, push it, push it. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's Please. wonderful. Oh. It's your left. It's behind you, Gary. It's behind you, behind Gary! You. It's behind, behind you. you! There it is, there it is. It's in front of you, Gary. It's coming towards you. There it is. Okay, pull it back, pull it back. Now push it, push it, push it straight. Fantastic, really hard. A bit to your left, a bit to your left. Fantastic, push it hard. Yes! Yes! Woo. Okay, you got it, Gary. Okay, push it really hard. Push it straight from there, really hard. Come towards me. Order. Keep it straight. No, to your left, to your left. Ah! Oh. Oh. Okay, to your left, to your left, Gary. It's behind you, it's behind you. To your left. It's in front of you, Gary. It's in front of you. It's coming towards you. To your left, to your left, to your left, to your left. It's behind you. It's behind you. To your right, to your right, to your right. There, there. It's in front of you. <laughs> It's in front of you, to your left, to your left, to your left, to your left. It's behind you, to your right, to your right, to your behind right. You there, there it is, come on. Okay. It's to your left, to your left, to your left, to your left. There it is, okay. Now pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, push to your left, to your left, to your left, to your left. Oh. Gary, you've got four. Round of applause, please, for Fiona. And Gary. Well, that was a super run there by, uh, by Gary and Fiona and Paul. Put up the good news. Well, the good news is... Please. Well, look at that. I mean, that was incredible. We've seen the rehearsals for this. That's a good score. It was Five in... nights down the swanee. Absolutely. And now let's come to heat two. Here we go. The Paul, the mystery, the mystery person. It's going to start in about okay, three seconds. Up. Three, two, one. Up. Run, Lovely, run, Jenny run, run, run. That's it. It's coming back Any towards Mr. you. Man. Stay where you are. It's there. From the United You've States of America. A superhero. Turn watch. Turn watch. Push hard. That's it. Oh. Yay. Coming back towards it's you. Catch it now. <laughs> turn watch. Turn watch. Stop.